Ever get bored? Uh, I got a riddle. Uh, you got a riddle? <laughs> Takes about two ounces of brains to figure it out. Anybody think they got a brain with two ounces of brains in it? The rumor world does. Well, for Christ's sakes, boys, come on, a little self-confidence from the players' gallery, right? We ain't talking long division. How much we got left? You want to line things up, Earl? That's a hell of an idea. So everyone puts in 20 bucks. Pot goes to whoever solves the riddle. You're going to get the riddle, Tim Cup. Dewey, I'm the one asking the riddle. I already know the answer, OK? I don't, I don't get a guess. All right. Although we could say if I get to 500 bounces on the old wedge here and no one gets the riddle, I get the pot. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's an impossible riddle. Well, it's not. It's an easy riddle. And if somehow, by the grace of fluke luck, I win, and y'all don't agree that it was an easy riddle, well, then hell, uh, I'll refund your money. I'll be it. All right. Money in the bank. All, All right. The money. Hell, I'll be here. Here. Come on, give it up. Now, a man's driving down the road with his son, and he gets in a crash. Two ambulances come and take the man and his son to different hospitals, OK? Different hospitals. Son goes into the operating room, all right? The doctor looks at him and says, I can't operate on this boy. He's my son. Now, how is that possible? Hmm? How is that possible? Clock's ticking, fellas. Father's still over there at the hospital. I mean, he didn't sneak back in, right? This ain't Star Trek, girl. Nobody beamed him aboard. All right, what about if uh, if the father married the son's daughter? It's a family riddle, girl. You got, you got to think clean thoughts. Hey, give us a little hint. You want a hint, Clint? A little hint. All right. The doctor's a woman. The doctor's a woman. See, the doctor's the son's mother. Feminists pose a riddle to reveal how deeply our sexual stereotypes run. I uh, take it you're a feminist. <laughs> Ma'am, I've been called a lot of things before, never been saddled with that one. Oh. Well, you might try being saddled sometime. The smell of leather, sting of a whip. Well, I'm just a humble golf pro. Could I help you? You're Roy McAvoy, the golf pro? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I, I pictured something uh, different. I have a 7 o'clock lesson. I thought I had a Dr. Griswold. That's me. Okay. 